let's take a look at our top selections. Hi everyone, the feature race on Saturday at Los Alamitos is the $100,000 Soviet Problem Stakes. It's a one mile race around two turns for California bred two year old fillies who will be trying to restore some normalcy to the juvenile Philly division out in California. It was one week ago on Saturday that the grade one starlet completely disintegrated. The odds on favorite Princess Noor was pulled up with a tendon injury and retired. Second choice Astute did not show any speed from the gate and finished out of the money. And the winner Varda won the grade one starlet with a whopping 68 buyer speed figure. So it was not a very good day for the juvenile Philly division in California last Saturday. Maybe the California bred juvenile Phillies will, you know, add some stability perhaps to the division. And who knows, maybe a California bred, considering the state of the division, maybe a California bred will emerge as a potential stakes player in the against open company, or maybe the Soviet problem on Saturday is nothing more than a segue, a bridge toward the $200,000 California Cup Oaks. That's at Santa Anita on January 16th. At any rate, the Soviet Problem Stakes is named after one of the best California bred Philly mare sprinters of all time. In the early 1990s, Soviet Problem won 15 out of 20 starts. Two of them were match races. She won three stakes races against males. The best race of her career was probably one of her infrequent losses. It was in the 1994 Breeders' Cup Sprint. She lost by a head to Cherokee Run. Soviet Problem was owned and bred by John Harris and Don Valpredo. She was trained by Greg Gilchrist, and it is appropriate that Los Alamitos honors her memory by naming the this California bred stakes in name after Soviet problem. Okay, let's start handicapping before I get too confused with my own verbiage. A field of 11 entered the Soviet problem. 10 can start. There is one also eligible down on the outside, Eddie's New Dream. And I would expect that favoritism will probably gravitate toward the outside in the form of number 10, I'm so Anna. I'm so Anna. We'll be talking about her in just a minute. I expect her to start favored. And I know that the outside post with a quick run to the turn is probably not the greatest spot in which to begin a one mile race at Los Alamitos. If I'm so Anna loses because of the post position, then she's just not as good as I think many of us believe her to be. And I think she's very, very good. I'm so Anna. Her summer campaign turned out to be a debacle. She actually scored a flashy second start maiden win at Los Alamitos in summer. And she went down to Del Mar where she was the program favorite for the CTBA stakes early in the meet. But she got sick the morning of the race. She had to scratch. Her workout pattern got completely messed up. Trainer Steve Sherman and his father, assistant Art Sherman, ran her back in the generous portion late in the summer. And I'm so Anna was just not right. And she finished an OK second. It was disappointing because she was the favorite. And then Sherman took her back home to Northern California to Golden Gate Fields. And when you look at her pedigree, she's by fast Anna, a sprinter, and she's out of a low caliber, claiming caliber sprint mare sired by just jet west you wouldn't look at the pedigree page of i'm so anna and say two turns but steve sherman knows what he's looking at and aside from her pedigree she looks like a route horse according to sherman she's long she's lanky she wants to run long and sherman took her home and stretched her out she ran second against the may boys in an allowance race and then last time out in the Pike Place Dancer. This was October 31st at Golden Gate Fields. And that's I'm So Anna on the front end. Now it's true she got an easy lead. She went 25 opening quarter, 50 and two for the half, but she is full of run all the way to the wire. And she's just now kind of figuring out what she's supposed to be doing out there. This was the fifth start of her career, her second win. And even though they came to her late, I'm so Anna galloped out in front of the field. She had something left at the wire. She also has tactical speed to overcome that outside post. She was quick enough early this year to win a, a short abbreviated sprint 
at Los Alamitos going five furlongs. So she's not one of these plodding two-turn two types of horses. She has speed. She can carry it. I think she's going to be very tough to beat on Saturday at Los Alamitos. Talking about the, I expect to be the favorite, number 10, I'm Solana. Maybe it's not a one horse race, however, because there are a couple of fillies in here that are entering this race with conspicuous patterns of improvement, including Dylan's Wildcat. Dylan's Wildcat, last time out, she was a 15 to 1 long shot in the Golden State Juvenile Phillies. And this race was down at Del Mar. It was a seven furlong sprint at Del Mar for Calbred Phillies. And Dylan's Wildcat, that's her on the outside. She's going to take the lead and she's going to end up getting beat in a race that she had won in deep stretch but you have to do yourself a favor here comes september secret on the outside and she's going to pin a very narrow defeat on dylan's wildcat fire up formulator and go back and watch the entire replay of dylan's wildcat because when she came out of the gate she kind of got shuffled back a little bit early she was throwing her head around she did not like the dirt in her face at all so jockey mike smith took her to the outside and she lost ground every step of the way thereafter but she also was in the clear now smith is not riding on saturday dylan's wildcat will be ridden by flavian pratt and as much ground as she lost last time out going seven furlongs i don't see any reason at all why she should not be able to go two turns in the soviet problem she breaks from post number three dylan's wildcat another x factor in this field is number six sensible cat she stretched out last time off of just a single sprint race and boy did sensible cat make a forward move in the second start of her career this is a maiden turf race at del mar against california breads and this is sensible cat in the red silks on the outside and she's going to kick away nicely. This is a powerful win by a filly making just the second start of her career. Daughter of Bluegrass Cat, Warren's Candy Girl, who finishes second and third to everybody, chasing her home. But Sensible Cat, she won full stride. She galloped out with run. This is a filly on her way up. That race was on grass. There's no reason at all to expect that Sensible Cat will not be just as effective on dirt. But when all is said and done, the Soviet problem to me Looks like a potential standout. In fact, I made I'm so Anna most probable winner on the Saturday card at Los Alamitos. I'm very curious to see if betters agree. I hope they don't. I'd like to see her drift up to five to two. That's never going to happen. I'm so Anna. She appears to be a standout on Saturday in the $100,000 Soviet problem stakes race number eight, Saturday at Los Al.